hi guys in this video we're gonna render our to do's list uh, below the input field so first of all i'm going to create a new uh, js file let's say to do's list so in here basically to do's list is basically a list of to do's component so in here uh, in, in app.js i'm going to render it so in here i'm going to use to do's list which i haven't made right now but we are gonna make it so in here i'm going to import react from react and in here i'm going to use const maybe yeah that's what we need only maybe we are i'm going to use the functional component we will see that if it is if it is required to convert into a class component or not so in here i'm going to return it some JSX code so first of all i'm going to just export default uh to to do's list right now in here i'm just going to save it and in app.js is going to be get imported and we have successfully imported or not yeah we have imported now in here basically um, we haven't rendered something that's why it's giving an error but if you render something it will not give an error so basically i'm going to give it right now to those list yeah. okay yeah that's it now in here as you can see that if i just open this console and if i type in something we got all the to do's we all we get the to do's that we are typing in here if we type in again we got an array of to do's yeah this is the thing that we're gonna render below this input field so now in our to do's list we again gonna use this connect and by using connect we're gonna connect this action and reducer js file that we have used so that whenever you use any action it will change the reducer and whenever we need some state or any store we can get it from which we are gonna use map state to props that what i have discussed in previous video so basically in here i have used this map state to props such that any state the state it's for now this to do's it's going to convert it into props uh, what i have, have said just going to deliver it here so i have used this state we got this state from to do's so this is the state as you can see in here this is the state now in state we have to do's so we need to do's right so we get state dot to do's and yeah that's it we get the to do's and now what happens that this state is converted into props for this component so now we can get basically get from props but i'm going to restructuring this to do's so we can just type in to do's in here and in here i'm going to render it so if i just type in here like this and use this div tag I'm going to close it and using the curly braces so such that we can type some JSX code to do dot map as you know this is a what you can say it's a array so it will be an array and we're gonna give each component a key so this is how we can see in here 
and for now i'm going to just give him this to do we get the name of it now if we just save it look good yeah it's correct oh we haven't closed it right now it's good yeah now in here if i just type in here something you will see we got this uh, text that we have typed in again if i type in again we got another one we got another one we got another one so this is what we're gonna build it here yeah you can see but we need more functionality that it does so that's why i'm going to create this to do's list to do more than one thing to only rendering things so that's why i'm going to create one new uh, file called to do's in the next video so yeah basically we have done the thing that we need in here in this video so let's see next video thanks